Hello everyone and welcome to this playwright tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about the API mocking in the playwright. So let's begin. API mocking, which is also known as API virtualization. So it's basically a software development technique that simulates the behavior of an actual API. Why we need to do this? So this is a question which we need to know. So basically, when you are doing a development of your application, you are developing your APIs. So in some cases, your some API is not yet developed, but still you want to proceed with the development and the testing as well. So in that particular case, what you need to do is that you need to mock or simulate the behavior of actual API in order to develop your functionality or test your functionality. Okay, now let's go to the application which we will use for this particular tutorial and understand this concept more and practically. Okay. So for this uh, tutorial, I will be using this official demo playwright.dev search EP mocking. So let me go to the browser here and let me paste this here. So basically as soon as I hit this one, so here you see that we are getting the list of the fruits here. Okay. Now how these fruits are coming here. So let me go here, right click on this one, click on inspect here, go to network here. And in the network tab, you need to ensure that fetch slash XHR should be selected. Okay. Now just reload this page and you see that there is an API hit gone, right? And this is basically a fruits API. And this food API is basically, you know, bringing this all the data. Okay. The strawberry, banana. So all data is coming from this API. So what it means? It means that as soon as a user is hitting this particular URL, then an API will get triggered and that API will give us this response. Now, assume that this particular API is not yet developed. Okay, the developer is still working on this one. But you need to test this functionality that as soon as the user hit this URL, okay, then the URL should get the list of the foods here. Okay. So, and you also know how this API will be working, what would be the response, how response will look like, what kind of a call it will be. So, for example, it's basically, uh, you know, if I go to the headers, okay, so it's a get call, okay, there are some particular headers going on, and in response, we are getting this array of the JSON objects, okay. So now we know that and now for this example, just assume that this API is not developed, but you need to test that the functionality that as soon as user hit this page, the list of the fruits should be displayed here. Okay. Now what we will do is that we will mock the behavior of this particular API. We will be not executing this actual API because right now we are in a phase that this is under the development. Okay, consider this as another developer. This is not yet developed. Okay, so based on this thing, now let's write a test here. So we we'll simply go to this your code here and let me create a new file here. And let me name it as api underscore mocking dot spec dot js. And the first thing is that I need the basically to import the test and expect from the playwright. And simply here we go. And now uh, the first thing is that we will be creating our test method here. And inside this, I will be naming the test as mock of fruit list and does not call the actual API. Okay, so this is what we need to do exactly. And it will be, you know, followed by a sync, a sync, and we need to invoke a page here, page fixture here, and followed by we will be using an arrow function and the body of the arrow function. Now our body is ready here, and the first thing is that we need to create a mock because as soon as we hit this one. We should not be calling the actual API here based on our assumption that this API is not yet developed. Okay. So simply 
what we will do is that we will mock this one so i will add the comments here as well so mocking and api okay so simply uh await page okay so basically there is a method known as route okay so basically this method is used to mock the apis so here you see that a global pattern register pattern or the predicted receiving url to match file routing okay so this is basically used to mimic or to mock the apis and now inside this method we we need to tell the route what what will be the route which we which is needs to mock so let me go here and let me go to the headers here so basically it's a demo dot playwright dot dev so this is the main url and then slash api slash v1 slash fruits so what we will do is that we will mock this beaver so they can be anything here and anything here okay so simply what i'll use that instead of giving a complete url here so go with static then forward slash double static and slash api slash v1 slash so let me confirm this again so slash api slash v1 slash fruits okay now this is what we want to do and now again we need to use async here okay and now again use the route here the route will basically the body of the route now uh, let's mock the data which we need in terms of the json here so simply i will go here and say cost json is equals to and whatever json we want so i am providing like name colon so i'm saying it testing and comma id colon so i'm giving it as id 30 and now once our route is ready our json is ready which needs to be mocked here so simply we'll apply this thing so await route dot fulfill my json here okay and once i will do this so simply i will now hit the page because i have created a route or mocked it so simply page dot go to and here you need to go to this particular page so you copy this one from here and let me paste it here and now assert this new value here so expect so await expect and here let's go with the page dot get by so i will assert this value by the visible text because right now uh, there's no such thing as testing in the page so here you see that we have different foods here there's no such thing testing here so when we mock this one so now we are mocking the response to have the testing here so then in this particular data should also be verified here so simply a uh, page dot get by text and the text here is testing and this testing needs to be visible okay that's the really simple way you know to work with this one and let me save this one here and now uh, let's open the ui to run this one so so that we can see that actually it is not being getting triggered here so simply uh this api mocking is there right now just run this one here and see what happens here so it's executing this one we will see the actions here this is our code here and now it's executing so this is a success here just click on this one so here you see that the page route has been created here and when you hit this one so data is not yet loaded here because right now we are mocking this one 
So if, if I click on this one, if I go to the network here, so even in the network, you will not see the API call because we are not hitting the actual API, we are just invoking this one. Okay. So when I click on this expect, so here you see that we are now seeing the testing only, which we are mocking as a response here, right? We are not seeing the other data. Okay. And here route out fulfill says that the, the mocking of the API is fulfilled successfully and your assertion is failed. Uh, your assertion is passed here. So if you go here, it says fulfilled and these are the headers and this is a response data, which, which actually we mocked here. So this is really helpful because when your API is actually API is not ready, but here you need to, you know, verify the functionality. So you can mock the API and you can test your functionality here. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.